In this video, we're diving into the must-have new mods for Skyrim that you absolutely shouldn't miss this October 2024. Whether you're looking to enhance your gameplay, visuals, or overall experience, these mods will take your adventure in Tamriel to the next level. First, let's dive into some animation-related mods. We have around four to cover, starting with Malignus Animations Conditions. This mod introduces a movement animation system that adds immersion by triggering specific animations based on various in-game situations, making gameplay feel more unique and realistic. For instance, when the character's health is low, their steps become unsteady. If it's snowing, they'll shield their face with their left arm, and in the rain, they'll brush off water-soaked clothes. These custom animations play according to the character's surroundings offering diverse, situation-based actions. Known for its popularity, Malignus Animations is beloved by many players, and with the addition of condition-based animations, it feels more complete than ever. By enhancing immersion and allowing players to integrate their own Skyrim playstyle, this mod offers an even more engaging experience. Next up is Combat Animations Overhaul, Dwarven Sphere. This mod completely overhauls the combat animations for Dwarven Spheres, bringing more variety and realism to their movements in battle. By replacing the previously simplistic attack patterns with new, unique animations, it delivers a more dynamic and immersive combat experience. With this mod installed, Dwarven Spheres move with greater agility and employ a range of attack patterns, adding depth and intensity to encounters. The improved animations give them the look of truly mechanical beings coming to life, making dungeon battles with Dwarven Spheres feel much more engaging and exciting. Next up is Beginner Bard Animations for Skyrim's Got Talent. This mod enhances the experience for players exploring the Bard lifestyle by adding beginner-level animations tailored for Skyrim's Got Talent. These animations introduce a new layer of immersion, making the act of playing instruments and performing in inns and taverns feel more genuine and realistic. Next up is Grain Mill Animation Fix. This mod enhances the animation for grain mills, providing smoother and more realistic movements. In vanilla Skyrim, the grain mill animation could feel somewhat clunky or misaligned, breaking immersion when watching NPCs or your character interact with it. With Grain Mill Animation Fix, the milling process becomes more visually satisfying, with the grindstone and other components moving fluidly and in sync. This subtle improvement makes everyday scenes in Skyrim feel more polished, adding to the game's atmosphere and attention to detail. Now, let's dive into some gameplay enhancement mods. First up is Collision Dialogue Overhaul. This mod adds a unique layer of realism to Skyrim by introducing immersive dialogue whenever characters bump into each other. No more silent reactions to casual shoulder brushes. Now NPCs will express anything from annoyance to surprise, adding a new dynamic to interactions in the world. With this mod, when collisions happen, you'll hear various responses based on character personality and relationship making both city life and adventuring more engaging with these unexpected, immersive moments. This mod is perfect for anyone looking to make Skyrim feel even more lively and reactive. Next up is World of Tanks SE. This mod transforms Skyrim into a battlefield, allowing players to command tanks and armies as they break through enemy lines and participate in some of history's greatest tank battles. You'll be able to employ a variety of weapons and troops to defeat enemies, recruiting new soldiers and tanks from your strongholds to strengthen your forces. This mod offers a unique blend of strategy and combat, creating an entirely new way to experience Skyrim's world. For players looking to add large-scale warfare to their adventures, World of Tanks SE is a powerful addition. Next up is Scald's Mail. This mod replaces Skyrim's traditional courier system with an interactive mailbox system, allowing players to rent or purchase mailboxes, typically found outside inns or homes, to set as their primary mailbox. Mail arrives there instead of by courier, with up to five secondary mailboxes also available for sending packages. The mod allows ordering items directly from several shops. 
By purchasing catalogs from these shops, players can browse and place orders, as well as send items out for upgrades. Rented mailboxes come with monthly fees, and players must pay for their orders. If payments are missed, players may receive a bounty in the hold associated with the shop. For players who want to add a layer of realism and convenience to item management, Scald's Mail offers an immersive alternative to the standard delivery system. This time, I'm going to introduce outfit-related mods. I'll be showcasing two unique outfit mods. First up is L, Knight Elaine. This mod introduces a highly detailed and immersive character, Knight Elaine, who brings her own distinct armor and weapon sets, specifically designed to enrich Skyrim's medieval fantasy atmosphere. Knight Elaine has been crafted with high-resolution textures, giving her a striking appearance that blends well within the game world. It can be crafted at the Forge, and comes in five color options, with an optional long dress. This outfit supports 3BA, BHUNP, and UBE body types, and with its sleek, elven-inspired design, it's sure to make your female character stand out beautifully. Next up is Lavaterra Armor. This mod adds a modular female armor set suitable for Daedric worshippers or travelers in Solstheim. It supports 3BA and UBE bodies, as well as heel sounds. The helmet and chain skirt feature SMP physics, providing more realistic movement while enhancing the character's body lines. Overall, the design is excellent, and it is currently listed as a hot mod on Nexus. If you get the chance, you should definitely try it out. Now, we will look at visual-related mods, starting with JS Vanilla Circlets SE which is a complete remake of the Vanilla Circlets. This mod enhances the character's appearance by providing the circlets mesh and textures in 1K, 2K, and 4K resolutions, addresses clipping issues for female elves and male orcs, and improves the fit of the circlets for beast races. The collision handling of the circlets has also been made more accurate, and various custom gemstones have been added, expanding the available options while complex parallax effects enhance realism, upgrading the circlets in Skyrim even further. Next up is Diverse Downed Logs, Base Object Swapper. This mod adds 18 unique variations of downed logs across Skyrim, each adorned with different amounts of ivy and ferns, allowing vegetation to grow through and around them. The log's designs are both realistic and immersive, enhancing the natural beauty of Skyrim's wilderness. While it's designed to work seamlessly with the Happy Little Trees mod, a vanilla-compatible version is also available. This mod brings an extra layer of detail to Skyrim's landscapes, perfect for those who want to add subtle but impactful environmental diversity to their game. Next up is the Soul Gem Replacer. This mod replaces Skyrim's Soul Gems with new high-resolution meshes and textures, making them look sharper and more beautiful. It also includes an ESL plugin that modifies more stones and is compatible with most mods, enhancing the appearance of Skyrim's soul gems even further. This section is about creatures. I'm going to introduce about two things, but first up is Dragons SE. This mod enhances the dragons in Skyrim, bringing them to life with improved models and textures. With high resolution details, the dragons appear more majestic and terrifying making encounters with them even more immersive. Whether you're battling them in the skies or on the ground, Dragon's SE elevates the overall aesthetic and realism of dragon encounters, adding a fresh layer of excitement to your adventures in Skyrim. Next up is Draugr Humanoid Replacer Use Your Own Body. This mod transforms the Draugr into humanoid forms, allowing players to utilize their own character body types, as Draugr will now use humanoid animations. Additionally, this mod is compatible with frameworks like OAR, Poses, MCO, and OSTIM, enabling Draugr to interact more dynamically within the game. Overall, this mod adds an intriguing twist to the Draugr encounters in Skyrim, making them more engaging and visually appealing. Thanks for joining me today as we explored these must-have Skyrim mods for October 2024. If you enjoyed this video and found some new mods to try, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Let us know in the comments which mods you're excited about, 
and happy adventuring in Skyrim.